Wow! Hi! Good morning or afternoon? I don't even know. Welcome! Um, I haven't done this in like forever, so I am going to be doing a clean eating uh, like meal prep grocery haul today. Good thing I just put my hand down here. I would have totally forgot my debit card in the car. Yeah, and my camera's actually gonna die, so hopefully I can get some footage in. I actually am going into Aldi right now with the Beeb, but he's sleeping, so I'm gonna have to figure this out. Yeah, I am like, I don't even know, 18 weeks away from this show. Hey Siri. How many weeks until May 30th, 2020? It's 17 weeks until then. All right, <laughs> thanks. Oh, um, what? Okay, I have to get lots of protein stuff and then I have like really high carb days in the week, so gonna get some carbs. Just kidding. Not getting those. My favorite thing in the world, arugula and spinach. I eat a lot of it. Getting this for my higher carb day. I thought that said tits. Okay, lots of Greek yogurt. <clears throat> Yeah, me too. This is the important stuff here. Chicken, chicken, chicken. <laughs> Dude, relax. You can't get out. Still nine grams of fat per four ounces. don't have lean ground beef here. Everything's like 80-20 and I ain't about that life. Oh, 96% lean. Let's check this out. Got to stand on the thing so that I can actually get up here. Except for my smoothies. Uh, another thing that saves me is tuna packets. All right, we are done. I have to put all this in my car and I forgot my bags so I wasn't about to buy like 30 more bags oh, oh my god just from shopping I'm exhausted but <clears throat> I did get so much stuff so, and it was only $220. So yeah, I think I did good. I got so much stuff. And I got fun stuff for Charlie, like fun snacks. I got some 
of John's snacks that he loves. Um, he eats a lot of chocolate. Bastard. And a lot of trail mix, so I got him some of that. And I got Charlie some Gushers, because what kid doesn't like those? But he eats really healthy um, for the most part, because obviously what I cook. So it's fun to have fun food sometimes. And I also got him Connect Four, because that was in there. Can't wait to play that. Okay. Hi. I'm home. I just organized the things that I got for myself. Um, because I do have a bunch of stuff that I bought today that's not for me and for my diet, but that shit's irrelevant. Yeah, like I got like fun foods for John and Charlie and just like stuff that they personally like that I can't maybe have right now because I'm trying to diet down. But um, I do want to show you guys everything that I got, so let's check it out. Obviously, I organized this really nice for everybody. I got my veggies, my proteins, and my carbs, okay? So, firstly, let's talk about my favorite thing in the world, carbs. I am on low fat right now, so you're not gonna see like me talking about any fat. <laughs> um, mixed fruit, uh, I usually do like a big thing of strawberry and banana, but I already have that, so this is for my smoothies. Um, if you are familiar with my, you know, my meal plan or my diet per se, I guess. I don't know. When I talk about my food, um, I have a smoothie every single day. Like, I don't fucking play with that. I don't care, like, what diet I'm on. I fit that shit in. So, um, it's superfoods, and I like it by itself, but I prefer to have... Um, something fun to mix with it. So um, I usually do fruit and almond milk. So those are two things that I always get. Um, as for my carbs, I've got rice cakes, which I eat those a lot. I love them. I don't give a shit. Like they're my favorite thing in the world. Uh, I got some potatoes because I'm going to have higher carb days and um, I would like to have some taters because let's be real, potatoes are the fucking best. And then I've got uh, this low-carb bread. It's only 19 grams of carbs for two slices, so that's pretty baller. Um, <laughs> I've got this protein pancake and waffle mix. I do make my own protein pancakes sometimes, but this is so easy, and it'll probably be really good for Charlie to have too. Coffee. I love this cold brew. Um, this is, I don't know how to say this, Stoke stock. It's my favorite brand. Uh, I get this every time I go to Aldi. Um, quick rice. It is, takes 90 seconds to cook. It's brown rice. It doesn't fucking matter if it's white rice or brown rice. I prefer white rice, but they don't have the easy ones, so brown rice it is. Um, oats. I love me some oatmeal, guys. And bananas. I love bananas, too, and those are really high in carbs. What? Fruit's a carb? Yes, it is. Fruit is a carb. If you're trying to, you know, watch your carbs, guess what? You're going to have to cut down on the fruit. Um, okay, so proteins. <sighs> Lots of protein here. I eat a fuck ton of plain, non-fat Greek yogurt. It's really high in protein. Um, it is my favorite thing in the world. I haven't done beef for a while, but I found some 96.4 beef, uh, so that's lean beef, and I'm excited for that. I, I know, I know, I shouldn't be eating like sodium-filled deli meat, but it is not that bad for you, um, and it's, you know, high in protein, so that's good. These save my life, these tuna packets. I usually get the... Uh, what is that? That brand? Bumblebee or something? I don't know. I usually get the other ones, but this just happened to be at Aldi and there were like 80 cents. So cool. Um, smoked salmon. <gasps> so fucking good, guys. And then we've got tilapia, which I'm not a fish fan besides salmon. Um, and obviously I buy tuna. <laughs> okay, I guess I'm a fish fan. <laughs> I don't really like tilapia that much, but um, the way that I cook it, it turns out okay, and it's really good, clean 
protein. Same thing with shrimp, really good clean protein to have. So I bought plenty of that. And then of course, lots of chicken guys, lots of chicken. And these are lower in fat. So instead of like four to six grams of fat for four ounces, it's one gram. So that's perfect, lower fat tenders. And then of course, I chug egg whites. Everybody knows this. If you don't know it, then you're not watching my stories because I add egg whites into pretty much every single smoothie that I have. And I cook egg whites a lot. And then finally, another good protein source, low fat cottage cheese. My fiance thinks it's fucking disgusting, but it's actually really good, so I love it. And then I got this poke bowl for my higher carb day. It's pretty high in carbs, so. I'm going to save that for fun food, salsa, add that shit on everything. And then I've got all these vegetables. I love vegetables. Uh, I like to volume eat, which um, means that I just like to make like a big giant bowl of low calorie food um, to fill me up, which this spinach and arugula is my favorite thing in the world. I will eat this every meal if I can. Um, zucchini noodles, I make those like weekly. I do a lot of frozen asparagus because I like to meal prep. So it's easy to just throw like my cooked meat, like my protein, and then frozen asparagus and this uncooked, I mean, I guess it's cooked already. It just needs to be heated up. Brown rice into a meal prep container and there I have my protein and my carbs, um, my vegetables, obviously vegetables are carbs, but they're lower carbs. So this is what I use for my containers. Um, so I usually do like protein, veggie, carb, and then if I'm having any fat, I'll add it in after. So like coconut oil or olive oil. I try to eat pretty clean. I'm doing like flexible dieting. Thank you, Sean. But my body responds better to clean eating. So I try to keep it clean with the oils and the fats and all that. So I don't really use much uh, like butter or sometimes I'll do cheese. <clears throat> but um, like I said, I'm pretty low fat right now. So I'm not, I'm not really doing that. So yeah, this is what I got. And now I'm going to meal prep. So... Thanks for watching. This is pretty much what I eat on a daily basis, weekly. Um, my macros change, but I kind of stick with the same things all the time because it's just a lot easier to stay on track that way. So thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions about, you know, measuring or portion control, I'm here to help. And if you guys need help with figuring out your macros, um, Sean is the person who does my bodybuilding macros and he is a fucking genius. So he knows what he's doing. Um, my body has been responding really well with my food. So, um, I do still use my portion control and I am able to fit in the same supplements that I've always used as well as my superfoods and it works. So he is, uh, here on Instagram too. So I'll tag him in the comments. So if you guys ever want any help figuring out your macros, he could do that for you. Anyways, yeah, um, I'm going to be making like some more of these fun, like vlog things, I guess, and posting them. And, um, for now I'm just going to go sniff these cookies and drink water and chicken. <laughs>